Hello and welcome back to my channel. You guys, one day I'm gonna live in like an apartment or a home where the windows get to be in front of me instead of to the side of me. It's like so bright outside right now. The good news with that is it is springtime and the sun is out and shining. I wanted to make this video because so many of you come to my platform wanting to live in Chicago, whether you're here already or you live in another state or you're graduating college soon. I moved to Chicago in 2019 completely sight unseen. I'd never even visited before. I moved here thinking I would be here for like two to three years. And I gotta tell you, I literally don't think I will ever live in another city. I love it here so much. Let's jump into my 10 reasons of why you should move to Chicago. And I am saving my personal favorite reason for the end. So you're gonna have to stick around and watch that. Number one is our transit. The Chicago transit system, CTA, is incredible. Both the buses and the trains are amazing. You can really get to so many different parts of the city. They run decently on time. There are enough of them that you can usually catch one within the time frame that you need to get somewhere. The price point of them is so good. It is 250 to rent. Is it 250 or 275? It is 250. I don't know where I got that from. $2.50 to ride on the train. It doesn't matter how long of a distance you were on the train for or where you get off on. And same with buses. I think buses are actually 225. If you transfer, so like if you need to ride a couple of them within a two hour period, it's free for the other two transfers. Chef's kiss. The transit system is so, so, so good. I am completely dependent on it. I don't have a car in the city. I've never had a car in the city. I use public transit all the time. I literally don't wanna live in a part of the city that doesn't have a train line like really accessible because it just gives me such a feeling of freedom to be able to live in this big city, have complete access to it and not have a car. I love the Chicago transit system. Number two would be cost of living. I'm not gonna say that it's cheap to live in Chicago by any means, but if you are looking at the major big cities in the US, Chicago is extremely reasonably well priced compared to others. In real estate, I absolutely love working with clients coming from LA, New York, San Francisco, because when they see what they can get for housing in Chicago in comparison to those other big cities, they're typically blown away. I would say food and like going out is also lower. Chicago is a very big city. It is quite dense. And so because of that, it's really easy to get around. So even things like Ubers and taxis, if you need to hop in one of those, it's rare that you would be spending like more than $22 to get anywhere within like downtown. Next thing on my list is the central location of Chicago. So because we are in the Midwest, I don't know why I did air quotes around that. We are very much in the Midwest. Chicago is a really easy city to live in if you have to travel a lot for work. It is just really nice being in Chicago because we are a very quick and easy flight to New York. And also it's not a horrible flight to get to LA. So being kind of central, it makes it so that way you're not doing like huge flights coast to coast all the time. Everything is just a little bit easier. Also with that, having a huge international airport like O'Hare is incredible. I love to travel. It's one of my favorite parts about living in Chicago is that we have such a big international airport here. Now I basically never have to do layovers. It is very rare that I am traveling to somewhere where there isn't a direct flight from Chicago, which makes it so much easier. It also keeps your flight prices down quite a bit. So it does keep my cost of living a little bit lower by living near such a huge international airport. Next up, would not be fair if I did not talk about Lake Michigan. Having the lake is the coolest thing. The lake is huge. If you've never been to the Great Lakes, it is an ocean. It is literally an ocean. I'd never seen Lake Michigan before I moved to Chicago and they're full beaches. There's beach bars, like there's sand. People play beach volleyball. The boat scene is huge in Chicago. The playpen, if you haven't heard of that, that's where everyone parks their yachts and it's like a huge party every single day in summer. Having the lake is so incredible. It really doesn't make me feel like I'm like landlocked in the Midwest because we have such a huge body of water. Also, if you are unaware, there are rivers that cut through the city, which that is so beautiful as well. And the architecture tour can go through those. You can hop on the water taxi and go through those. In my opinion, just having water throughout the city makes a very big difference in how a city feels. Coming in at number five, and this one kind of ties into the lake, but this is the amount of green space in Chicago. There is a ridiculous amount of parks and park space in the city. I think the coolest thing that the city of Chicago has done is take all of the space along the lakefront and make that public. And so you have the lakefront trail that runs up the entirety of the lake, which is just the coolest thing ever. It's so great for running or cycling or walking. I walked three and a half miles down the lakefront the other day just because the weather was nice and it's so beautiful out. But the amount of green space in the city is definitely something that does not go unnoticed. I think because you do have such strong seasons here that when the weather is nice, everyone flocks to the parks. Like people fully use them. There's birthday parties and grill outs and people just like on their blankets, like hanging out, having picnics. Like it is so cool to see these public 
public green spaces be fully utilized and it makes it feel really special. The farmer's markets in the park are amazing. Different parks will do different events like movies in the park or yoga in the park, stuff like that. Once you get into the loop, like Maggie Daly, Millennium Park, all of that area, there's like an event like every single day during summer. Beautiful, beautiful green space that I think really does just breathe like a life into the city as well. Number six would have to be Chicago sports fandom. People in Chicago absolutely love their sports. And so if you are someone who is into sports at all, it will be a very fun city for you to live in. I had to write down all the sports team names because I didn't want to forget any. Oh, and it just doesn't even have them all. As far as baseball goes, Chicago has the Cubs and the White Sox. I have yet to go to like a full baseball game, but that is on my bucket list this summer. Also a kid from my high school now plays for the White Sox. So do I become a White Sox fan? Even though he has no idea I probably exist? Possibly. There's of course, the Bears. I feel weird saying that because I'm not a Bears fan. There is the basketball team, the Bulls. I haven't been to a Bulls game either. That would be fun. I'm not a huge basketball girly, but like that sounds like a good time. And then the Chicago Blackhawks is hockey. I have been to a hockey game. That was so much fun. Hockey is such a fun vibe if you've never been to a hockey game. And then there's Chicago Fire, which is the soccer team. There's so many others. I literally can't even list them all up, but Chicago loves its sports so, so, so much. There are so many sports bars. There are always people repping the different teams in clothing and stuff. I think it is very fun to live in somewhere where people are very passionate and having people like rally around their sports team so much is so much fun. I would love to have been here when the Cubs won the World Series, like the parades and chaos that ensued in the city. That just sounds like such a cool, epic thing to be a part of. And I would have loved to have seen it, but it was before I lived in. Chicago. Next one on my list has to be the Chicago architecture. I wouldn't have called myself a huge architecture person before moving to Chicago, but here the architecture is just so cool that you can't not notice it. Number one, there is Sears Tower, which is just an incredible behemoth of a building in the middle of the city. You can go up to the sky deck and stand in one of those glass boxes and it's just, it is crazy. I do recommend doing it at least once, also because they've added like a museum section to it before you get up there, which is actually really cool and you learn a lot about the city. There's the Hancock Building, which is historic and incredible. The Tribune Building, the Chicago Water Tower. There are some iconic buildings in the city. There is also the the tallest building ever built by a female architect and it's beautiful. Even if you are not living in Chicago, if you come and visit, I highly recommend doing the architecture tour. I've done it three times at this point and I have loved it every single time. The facts that they give you are so cool. You learn so much. And seriously, these buildings are incredible. Like now it's one of my favorite things to just walk down the street and like look up and be like, I've never even noticed that building before and I've lived here for four years. Every time I leave Chicago and I come back, there's something about being surrounded by all of these like incredible big buildings that just just like lights a spark in me and I get so excited. Like I literally get inspired. That sounds so strange, but I don't know how else to describe it. There's also a architecture day in the city where a lot of the historic buildings that you typically can't just go in and tour are open and free and you're allowed to go in and check them all out. So highly recommend. I love it here so much. All right, number seven, and this is probably my most controversial one on my list, has to be Chicago's weather. I know Chicago gets a lot of hate for the weather because we do have a pretty rough winter here, but here's my hot take on that. I grew up in Northern California. We had like very mild seasons, like San Francisco, Napa area, mild, very mild. Then I went to school in Arizona and I lived there for six years. We have the endless summer. It is hot basically year round. And when it's not hot, it's just nice out and no one gets excited because it's just gonna be 80 degrees for the next five months indefinitely. Seasons are so much fun. Seasons are so much fun. I also feel like it's easier for me to like categorize my life and like think about when things have happened to me because I now live in a place with seasons. But seriously, I love seasons. I do not think I would ever live somewhere that has like mild seasons again because of how much I like it. I love winter. Everyone hates on winter. I absolutely love winter. Let me take you through all the seasons. Number one, least favorite season. I hate spring. It's spring right now. I think spring is dumb. I get really, really bad allergies and that's just brutal. And number two, spring gives me trust issues because we'll have like a beautiful like 80 degree day and then the next day it could snow and that like back and forth by the time it hits spring I'm just so ready for the weather to be nice that I'm over it so spring get out of here but the other three I love summer there is nothing better than a Chicago summer anyone who's ever been here for summer will tell that to you it is just the best the city comes to life everyone is outside enjoying it there is just like a energy that is running through the city in summertime like people are on bikes they're roller skating sitting at patios on rooftops tops like, ugh, Chicago summer, there is truly nothing better. Fall is probably my personal favorite season. I love a cool day where like the sun is still warm, but there's like a crispness in the air and fall's just beautiful. All of the trees turn like such pretty colors. 
there's apple picking, farmer's markets, fall's just, she's a vibe. I really, I always look forward to fall every single year. And then winter, I think you've had this crazy busy summer. You've been slammed with like social events and things because everyone's getting outside. And then winter's like low key kind of a hibernation and everyone's excited to kind of hunker down. When you get a blizzard outside, everyone cancels their plans, which is like actually very nice. And you can just be like, oh, snow day, not going out today, which is so, I don't know. There's something just like cozy and relaxing about it. I really like winter. I love putting on my bar parka and walking outside and getting hit with like the crisp, cool air and like the Christmas lights. I love the holidays in winter time. I don't know. It really doesn't bother me. And then it brings you back to spring, which I hate. All right, coming in at number nine, we are nearing the end of this list. Number nine is just all of the big events that come to Chicago. Because Chicago is such a big city, we get so many huge events rolling through, which is really, really cool. The Chicago Marathon is one that is like very well known. The Chicago Marathon literally goes through so many different neighborhoods in the city. I'm personally quite inspired to do it, but I don't know if I can actually run a marathon, but I want to do it because I think it's just like such an epic thing that not all big cities offer something that's like the whole city rallies around like the Chicago Marathon. There's also Lollapalooza every year as well as a ton of other music festivals, but Lollapalooza is like our big one. That's so fun and the whole city like rallies around it. I've gone every year, but like I got to go as a chill person. I can't do four days all day every day because that will actually kill me. Lollapalooza is always a really good time. There's always major concerts like my girl T Swift is coming to Chicago. This year in July, there's a big NASCAR race that's happening in the city. There's like so much buzz around it. I honestly don't know all the ins and outs, but it's going like right in the loop, which like that's so stinking cool. The Chicago Jazz Festival is a huge one. We've had Final Four come into Chicago. There's literally just like so many big things that happen throughout the city that it's very cool to like have access to all of these things like in your own backyard. And then number one, my top reason of why I personally just think that Chicago is the best ever is Chicago's food scene. Chicago's food scene is so strong. There's everything and everything is really, really good. Chicago is mostly known for its deep dish and it's Chicago hot dogs and it's Italian beef. And don't get me wrong, all of those things are great. However, there is just like such a diversity in the food scene in Chicago that I feel like it's not as easily accessible in other big cities. So Chicago has a fantastic Chinatown. Pilsen is known for its Hispanic culture and there's incredible food there. Greek town is known for its Greek culture and there's incredible food there. You can go up to Uptown and there's Asia on Argyle where there are a ton of Vietnamese restaurants and Thai restaurants. There's Little Italy. There's just a huge passion in food scene around Chicago. In West Loop, there's Restaurant Row, which every single restaurant in West Loop has to be like an absolutely phenomenal restaurant or it literally just won't last because all of the restaurants in there are such a high caliber that in order to maintain and survive in Westloop, you have to meet that. The food scene is so good. The list of restaurants that I wanna to go to is consistently ever growing. Like I cannot keep up with it. It's just so much fun to have all of this at your fingertips. There will never be a time where I wanna go out to dinner and be like, I wanna go somewhere new and not have something new to go to. And I think that that's so exciting. It's better than anywhere I've ever lived before. And I absolutely just love having access to all of that. It makes it so fun. It's so exciting. Chicago's restaurant week is also incredible. It's a great time of year to be able to test out a bunch of different restaurants and they have specials and deals where you get like prefix menus for a really good price. The city loves to eat. The city also loves to drink, but the city loves to eat. And so there are so many like food bloggers and different pages and stuff that you can follow along for like new top restaurants or like specific dishes to try. And I think it just makes it like very, very exciting and fun. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Those are my top 10 reasons why I personally think that Chicago is the best city in the US to live in. But comment down below, let me know what you think. If you have anything that you feel like I've missed or didn't touch on that really makes this city the best ever. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you are moving to Chicago or live in Chicago, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. I post two videos a week. So much of my content is Chicago related and I would love for you to follow along. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.